Hello there. Alcon Raycon. Am I happy that Manchester City produced the kind of football that we're expecting them to do? I certainly am. Am I happy to see that PSG did a wonderful job as well, except there was too much individualism in their game to make them be able to understand what Manchester City is all about? A very solid defence. I was a little bit concerned with Stones in centre field uh, because he had made some mistakes from time to time, although I will admit that he has improved over the past six or seven months. However, once again, he succumbed to a goal, a ball that was crossed. He was the obvious person to get the header. Marquinhos came in and headed and put PSG ahead. Well, let's talk about Manchester City. That didn't worry them, not too much. They control the game and they moved the ball around. They were using sort of triangles. You play the ball from Diaz and go it out to Walker. Walker plays it inside to Rodrigo. And that if when they attract the attention over there, a quick switch from using Diaz takes it over on the far side to Cancelo. And there goes. And they're opening that defense and moving it gradually and smoothly in until they get outside of the opponent's penalty area. And they were darting all over. Mahrez was doing fine. Ford, remember the name of Foden. He's going to be a wonderful player. And he had it. And as usual, Gun the man was doing quite well. So we looked at the picture at halftime and realized there was too much of an advantage in Manchester City that they would not come back into the game. So he said, so they were just wonderful. You look at a midfielder with De Bruyne, who must be one of the better players in football today. He did a magnificent job. He had a, a sort of rookie, a Rodrigo, at the side of him. It didn't really matter, if only because of the fact that Bernardo Silva was also on the other side. The, the chemistry of the game was what one expects in a top-class football game. This is what we saw. In the defense, eight and nine players coming back, winning the ball. And as they win it, take it back to their master player, Diaz. Who, if he's in trouble, plays it over to the fast-moving Walker. And back again, the attack starts to build and build. Eventually, mistakes. Goals, goals. A free kick, a wonderful free kick by Mahrez. And it brought a 2-1 victory. But it was a magnificent game on both sides. I will admit that they put so much confidence in both uh, Neymar and Mahabe that they were not even worried about getting the midfielders, Verratti coming in to the attack. It was not there. They were more concerned with being on the attacking side. Of course, when you play a ball to Neymar, he's wonderful. His skill level, his brain, his, the type of passes, yes. But you can't one man win a, a football game or even two. So Manchester City, take a bow. It was a re really good performance. PSG, that was a good game. I think that there may be just one or two things in their game could bring it up to the level at some time or the other. So Manchester City will go into lead with a 2-1 in the next round. Let's hope that at home they produce even better. Is that possible? They did exceptionally well and I'm pretty pleased about it.